No, the two Saxon boys were ambushed. One lays wounded. All these men back. I'll find them. Go away. They're not back to us. Unwald, come get up. This is no time for weep wailing. I... I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens Walt, listen, I'm you will want perhaps he will pull you.
They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Oh. It is done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor, in amongst the blood and death, Brothir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Your first battle, Elleritch. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hunwal die, the light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same, but you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. Okay. You wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. My heart is heavy. 
Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. So my Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. 
and I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. What is it you do here again? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. <laughs> Until next we meet. You hear that? Thor's testicles! What is happening over there? Have you ever known anything like this? What is going on? Across the river! The animals have lost their senses! My very pig chewed through her fence and plunged into the river. She tried to swim across. Oh, I have seen crows attacking one another. Perhaps this is serious. That is concerning. My raven may see better. Soon in! solve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn and know that we are here for you, always, as you can need us. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Good to see. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. 
Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go.